Hello Aries, this is Renee and welcome back. This reading is going to be a general message for February. Let's get into your reading, what's going on with Aries. We're going to get your energy and then we're going to get into the tarot. Okay, Aries. We have trickery. Wow. Okay, what's going on, Aries? And rejection. Okay. So I'm going to get one more. <sighs> Energies for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you have Aries anywhere in your chart, this reading is for you. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, and we have forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Okay. Yeah, so I'm, I'm feeling like there's something going on, Aries. Um, maybe something that you need to be fully aware of. But I feel like there's someone around you who doesn't really have good intentions. Um, maybe you have rejected this person or maybe this person has rejected you. Um, but I'm feeling like, I'm feeling more like you have rejected this person, uh, whoever this is. And... Now they're looking for your forgiveness. There's someone in your life that is maybe going to apologize and ask you to forgive them from so, for some sort of situation that you're going through. <clears throat> you know, sometimes with this new moon that just passed, you know, there, there's a lot of things that come out in new moons. Things that we need to release, things that we need to push away from, you know, as we go into the new cycle. Okay, let's get some tarot for Aries. What's going on? The Seven of Wands. Okay. The Three of Cups. The devil. Okay. The ace of cups. The sun. Ooh. Look, I see that you're moving past this energy. The king of wands. <clears throat> the six of cups. The Four of Wands. Okay. And at the bottom we have Temperance. And the High Priestess. Okay. Okay, Aries. Okay, so I'm feeling like your overall energy, uh, you're looking for a balance. I feel like you're you're trying to find some kind of harmony in a, in a situation. Um, maybe there's a situation where you really had to really keep your self-control, really kind of maintain your balance. But I feel like you're kind of protecting your energy with this Seven of Wands. I feel like you're kind of protecting your energy. You're kind of setting up your defenses. You know, but I feel like with this seven of wands, I feel like you're kind of you, you have you're sitting back and you're watching, you're observing, you're noticing little things. And I feel like it's giving you victory in this situation because I feel like you are in total awareness of what maybe this person is up to, what kind of trickery, you know, 
And I, I feel like that's the reason why you had to maybe reject this person. Maybe you had to block this person from, for some reason. And now they're coming in to kind of ask for your forgiveness. With the Three of Cups, um, I feel like this is... I really feel like this is you noticing it, this energy. Now, this can also be um, someone kind of coming in to kind of stand up for you, to have your back in the situation. You know, someone's like voicing their opinion. You know, you can't say this or don't say this if they're not around. You know, it don't say something that you can't back up or, you know, something of that sort. I feel like someone is defending you. Someone is protecting your boundaries in a way, you know, with this devil card and the ace of cups, I really feel like this is maybe someone that you had to push away from because it was maybe some kind of negative energy. So you're pushing away from this, this negative energy and you're looking for this new beginning, this new feeling of being stable, feeling love, or you're, you're moving from this negative energy and you're finding some sort of new love in your life. This could be a person, this could be something that you love to do, but I feel like whatever this is, you're kind of pushing away from this negative and accepting the new. And I feel like it's making you more balanced. With the Seven of Wands and the Sun card, you know, I really feel like you're setting up your defenses and you're, you're, you're kind of running towards your happiness. You're not going to let anything bring you down. You're, you're like pushing forward. You're finding that happiness, that harmony, that success. So I feel like whatever this is, you're not letting it bring you down. You're not letting it overcome you. You're pushing past it to find, you know, your happiness, whatever makes you happy, whatever makes you more content, you know? Um, so I feel like you're not even letting it get you down. Whatever the situation is, you're like pushing past and not even letting it mess with your day you know you're like well i'm gonna go along with my day this person can do whatever they want to do it is what it is and you know i'll i'll cross that bridge when i come back to it okay we have the king of wands and the six of cups i definitely feel like with this king of wands i feel like you found a passion and you just want to do it you just want to get started. There may be a project that you're thinking about or some kind of endeavor that you're looking to do. And I feel like this is you just, just getting into that energy, finding that momentum and just taking action. I feel like this is you being assertive. You're finding what pleases you, Aries, and you're just moving towards that energy. With the Six of Cups and the Four of Wands. Okay, Aries. Now, I feel like this may be a situation with family or a loved one or someone from the past. But there may be someone who's coming in to find forgiveness because they want a happy ending again. They want some kind of stability. They want to be reunited. They, they want some kind of union to be set again. I feel like this person is stuck in loneliness. So they're looking to be re reunited in the situation. <clears throat> okay, let's clarify a little bit. Now with the high priestess energy. I feel like with the high priestess, there's been secrets. They have been revealed. 
I also feel like this is you trusting that gut instinct. You know, I feel something's not right, so I'm going to go it. I'm going to go with it. I'm going to look into it. I'm going to find out the answer. You know, I feel like I really feel like this is you like kind of trusting the process. You know, you're you're trusting that if you feel like something's not right, there, there's a meaning behind that. And you're looking for the answer to see exactly why it's not feeling right or see what you can do to make the situation move in your favor. Okay. Okay, let's get a little bit of clarification. Spirits. Give me a message for Aries. Give me a message for Aries in this situation. Yeah, we have the Eight of Cups. So I definitely feel like what this is that you have defended yourself. I feel like you're moving past this energy. You're kind of letting uh, wet dogs lay, you know. You, you're moving past this energy to find your son, to find your happiness, to find that moment of contentment. So I feel like you're moving away from this defensive energy and you're finding your happiness. You're finding your son. Okay. Okay. We have the Knight of Cups. I definitely feel like someone's going to come in to apologize. Someone wants your forgiveness about a situation. Um, with the Three of Cups and the King of Wands, Knight of Cups, I really feel like someone really wants to apologize. They really feel bad about maybe something that they did or something that they said. Um, and I feel like this person is very emotional. I feel like they're kind of really feeling like there's no way for you to forgive them. So they're constantly going to be on the outside looking in, you know. Um, I feel like this could be someone from the past. Um, this could be this toxic energy here. Uh, this negative energy or, or some kind of blockage. This may be someone that you blocked. Someone that you've kind of kept your distance away from. But I feel like this person is coming in. They want to forgive and be forgiven. They want some kind of reconciliation in the situation. They want to be reunited. Okay. Yeah, we have the three of wands. Okay. So with this, this three of wands energy, I really feel like you're expanding into this new situation. Okay, with the Three of Wands energy, I really feel like this is you expanding your horizons. You're kind of growing into the situation. I feel like you, you're you really hopeful. You're teaming up with good people around you. You're also gaining support in something that you're doing. Um, but I feel like this is you really taking action on some kind of venture, some kind of project that you're going through, some kind of um, maybe job or career. Um, <clears throat> this could also be maybe you have a home project and you're finally running with it. You're finally making plans to start the project, go through the process. You're getting quotes and finding the information out. Give me more messages, spirits. The page of wands. Okay. Yeah, I definitely feel like with this page of wands energy, you're going to hear some kind of communication from someone. I also feel like with the page of wands, I feel like you're, you're into this new project. You're at the beginning and maybe you're, you're just in the planning stage. But I feel like this is new creative ideas that you're coming forward with. Um, this is new ideas that are coming forward. 
we have the king of swords okay with the king of swords energy i feel like you're gaining some kind of spark this is a breakthrough the king of swords he knows exactly where he's going and what he's doing he is finding out the information and doing the research you know um but i feel like he is gaining a, a lot of knowledge a lot of information he's he's like reading and researching so i, I feel like aries you could be kind of in the research phase of something you're looking into something and i feel like with the world card you're coming into a completion there are achievements right here you know you you're very close to your goal something is going to happen that's going to you know get into the momentum you're going to have a completion you're going to end a cycle and move into a new cycle there's some kind of goal that you're achieving some kind of success that's coming for you I, I feel like there's a yes definitely a lot of success it's going to put you into a new kind of like a new purpose you know i feel like you're completing one one project and you're totally jumping into another one you know i feel like you're making a final decision to you know finish this and run with this if that makes any sense um but i feel like with the judgment card this is also you coming into some kind of clarity uh, the judgment is also like a rebirth, a new beginning at something. So we have a completion and we have a new beginning, a renewal. So it's very good energy. You have success. You have victory, Aries. So this is a very good reading. Wow, we have the page of pentacles. No, it's the two of pentacles. Okay, we have the two of pentacles. So with the Two of Pentacles, I feel like you're you're definitely multitasking because you're finishing one project. You're coming into completion in something in your life and you're starting something else. So I feel like you're juggling. You're like making plans to finish this and start this, you know. Um, so I feel like you're setting your priorities. And the Pentacles, the Pentacles is very successful. It's very successful because it's like it's like the that old saying with the turtle and the rabbit you know the turtle is taking its time it's winning the race slow and steady it's not gaining momentum and burning the, itself out it's staying at a regular pace and winning the race so with the pinnacles, the pinnacles is winning the race. They're getting their success on a slow and steady pace. You know, so something may be coming in kind of slow and steady, but you're successful. You have your success. You have your victory. So this is beautiful energy. At the bottom, we have the four of cups. So I feel like with the four of cups, I feel like you... I feel, I feel like with the Four of Cups, this is some kind of surprise that you're going to be dealing with. This is some kind of event that is going to take you totally unexpected. Uh, for some of you, this is also you kind of feeling bored in your situation. But I, I more or less feel like this is a surprise. This is something that's going to happen very unexpectedly. And I feel like this is something that's going to bring you a lot of joy, a lot of happiness. This is a pretty good reading. Um, okay, yeah, we have the Seven of Cups. So, the Seven of Cups. I feel like these are opportunities that are coming in. Aries for some of you I feel like you're having a hard time making a choice or committing to a decision 
you're having a hard time coming to a final focus. Um, what to really focus your energy on. But I feel like you're moving. You're moving in the right direction, Aries. You're moving out of your comfort zone into a place where it's going to bring you much more success, into a place where it's going to bring you um, victory, contentment. You know, someplace out of the chaos and into the calmness. So very interesting. What else do we have for Aries? The King of Swords. Now, this is the second time we've gotten the King of Swords. So I, I really feel like this is a breakthrough coming for you, Aries. You're hitting some kind of breakthrough over maybe questions that you had, maybe some kind of past event. But I feel like there's some kind of knowledge coming in for you that is making you really intentionally think about the intentions that are that you're setting and kind of following through with that information. Um, I feel like, you know, the King of Swords, he's very knowledgeable. He's very intelligent and he uses his intellect to push him further, to, you know, move him along his path. And I feel like that's kind of what you're doing, Aries. I feel like you may have been researching something you may have been reading books may have been reading about spirituality manifestation you know some sort of information like that and i feel like this is you with this king of swords energy really setting your intentions really getting your um intentions out into the universe so that you can manifest what it is that you want i see a lot of success here you have achievement you have new beginnings you know you have happiness there's something that's making you very happy and i feel like the little challenges that you face are just minor challenges it's something that's going to um kind of be a minor minor hurdle for you. Um, but I feel like that that's basically just um, making a choice to be fully committed to the situation or to make a choice on the opportunities that you have before you, you know. Um, but I feel like you're finding balance. You're finding your contentment, you know. Um, you have, you have your healing. We have the three of wands again. So this is the second time for the three of wands. We have the three of wands here as well. So I definitely feel like you're moving forward. You're growing. And I really love this card because it's growing. It's expansion. It's furthering your journey. You know, he's standing there watching his ships come in. He's waiting for his ship to arrive you know this is waiting for an arrival of some kind of event and i feel like yes you may be waiting but yes it's close by you know um this could also be ships going out also so you could be making travel plans or setting your intention to make travel or going on some kind of adventure Okay, we have the Ten of Cups. So not only do you have the Sun and the Judgment card and the world, which is success, victory, happiness. You also have the Ten of Cups, which is happiness. So something is going to make you overjoyed during this February month, um, Aries. Something is bringing you a lot of happiness. Some some kind of surprise that you're going to receive with that Four of Cups. Yes, and you have the Magician. Wow, what are you creating? But there's something that you're creating in your life that's bringing you that spark, Aries. It's some kind of new beginning, some kind of new ideas or new creative actions that you're taking. This could also be you moving towards your manifestations. 
you're moving towards making those intentions. And I feel like you have everything that you possibly need to create whatever it is that you're working on. But I feel like you have victory. You have total victory in this situation. Definitely. Definitely. Wow. Wow. Okay, let's get some, we're going to get some Moonology cards. Let's see what Moonology has to say for you, Aries. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Yeah, like I said, I feel like success is coming in for you. There's some kind of situation that you're completing, some kind of lessons that you had to learn in order to get you to this place in time. And you have a new beginning, a rebirth, some kind of breakthrough coming through for you. And it's going to bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of success. So I do feel like, yes, this tough cycle is about to end. You're about to um, achieve some kind of goal that you're achieving. Yeah, <laughs> exactly what I just said. You're very close to achieving your goal. Wow, look at that moon. You're very close to achieving your goal. Stay your course. Don't give up. Keep persevering. And you are, you and your loved ones are safe. So yeah, the Spirit is letting you know that you have protection. You have protection you have spiritual guidance in this situation you know don't give up don't let anything bring you down we're going to get a manifestation monology see what the manifestation monology has to say <clears throat> we have last quarter moon in virgo attend to the details so there may be more details that need to be worked out in this situation. That may be the seven of cups energy that we saw earlier. Attend to the details, you know, work out the little kinks. But I feel like you're very close. You're very close for um, Aries. And we have full moon in Gemini. Embrace, embrace the flow of life. So, yeah. Just go with the flow sometimes, you know, take time to relax, take time to rejuvenate, take time to really appreciate the little things. The little things are the most important things in our life, and we don't even realize it, but the little things mean so much. Okay, Aries, that is what I have for you. If this reading resonates, Please like and subscribe, hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads, and take a look at your sun, moon, and rising when I have them all uploaded. Okay, until your next reading, many blessings, love, and light.